earlier this morning, I, I just actually got the um, message off of my phone at the same time off of Fox News as they were talking about it. They think that they found the Malaysian flight over in the Indian Ocean. And um, so I'm, I'm just a little curious on how does a Boeing 777 plane have enough fuel to get in the Indian Ocean, like however many miles it was between there and Peru, or Peru, Peru. Excuse me, uh, I, I just actually woke up, so what deadline? Well, apparently that flight did have a deadline, but I just really want to know how do they know that the the plane went down there and not say uh, Iran. I mean, the plane could have just flown underneath everybody's radar and still not have been able to find it. I mean, if if you thought it was easy to um, to fly underneath radars, then apparently you have not played Grand Theft Auto Five enough. But um. But this has nothing to do with any video games. I'm not excited for any particular reason. I'm actually pretty disappointed that this actually wasted everybody's time in um, this so-called search for it when the freaking government of Malaysia was the one who planned it in the first place. And they're just going underneath everybody's skin to just even remotely have us think it was some kind of terrorist attack or some kind of plotted out thing that the pilot did. The pilot was probably told to go to some other country other than Beijing, which, again, according to Fox News, it's it, it was a six-hour flight to get from to get from uh, Vietnam where they took off it was Vietnam to um, to Beijing six hours so if you have fuel enough for six hours possibly seven or eight hours then how does a plane with fuel that lasts up to seven to eight hours reach all the way in the Indian Ocean which is further I say again, further than Beijing. Now, I, I'm not sure what the original destination was, if they were going to land somewhere like um, like in Australia. Now, this, this could be a possible location, though. So, so I'm not being a, a hater and saying that, oh, that's not where the plane is. Or, oh, those people deserve the death. No, nobody deserves to die. Unless you're um, an idiot, you know. Then, yeah. But, I, I still want to know, how does a plane, from however high they are, or however low they are, I should say, last up to six the seven hours of fuel or seven to eight hours of fuel and end up in the Indian Ocean and there's a big freaking difference because um, that radius of course the the big ass radius let me just give you an idea about that radius took off from here, right? It, so so how does a flight with a radius of like say uh, oh, I don't know, around around like there, how does one with that radius get all the way down here next to Australia? I still want to know how a rate uh, how a plane with um 6 or 7 to 8 hours of fuel has that kind 
of power to uh, reach that far. Now, if he didn't turn to the left, I mean, how do you know he went over there? And, like I said, not to, like, um, Iran or something. Oh, somewhere in the Middle East. I mean, it, there's all kinds of possible locations that that plane could have reached. Or could have crashed. Like I said, it, it's, it's almost quite impossible for a plane to reach down there with that much fuel. Now, of course, there were a lot of problems. This so-called black box that, that's installed in every single plane uh, stores information of, say, what the pilot says, uh, everything that's that's happening on board, what, whatever the co-pilot is saying, and uh, radio transmissions and uh, all that stuff. So then, if they do find that black box, could it be the Malaysian plane that we're looking for, or could it be some other plane that was lost and um, never reported on by Fox News? Now, don't get me wrong, I'm a, I'm a huge fan of Fox News. Uh, I, I actually prefer them than, uh, than uh, any other news, to be honest. Uh, well, although the, the news are told by the government what to say and what not to say, so... So, yeah. But, hey, you know what? That that just reminds me. Whatever is happening over in Ukraine, oh, wait, we don't care about Ukraine anymore because we're more worried about that Malaysian flight. So, of course, it's another distraction by the government. I mean, it, it is something that we can help on. I mean, it's a, it's a missing plane with... Um, Freaking passengers from all over the freaking world on it. I'm pretty sure there was like two, five, I don't know how many Americans there were on there, but they said that there was a couple of Americans on there. I mean, hell, in a, in a couple of weeks, I think? No, is it in a week? No, I don't really remember. It's either within a couple of weeks or a couple of months. But um, my dad has to take a flight over to Beijing for um, business stuff, of course. And he's going to be there for like a week or so. And then, uh, of course, he'll do whatever he has to do over there and then take a flight back to here. So, so yeah, he'll have to... Um, Take a flight over to uh, L.A. or San Fran or, um, I don't know, uh, whatever flight goes to uh, Beijing instead of a Malaysian flight. So, now we know not to trust Malaysian, uh, uh, Malaysian Airlines or whatever the hell they're called because their pilots, according to the news, likes to commit suicide. So that's basically what the news is saying. That's not what I'm saying. That's what the news is saying. <laughs> no, but but that still ha like before this happened, we were paying so much attention uh, we were paying so much 
attention to um, this Ukraine crisis between uh, Russia and Ukraine because Ukraine is in the middle of a civil war now because some shit happened and um, the deal was that the US thought that Russia was going to invade when Ukraine was the one who asked Russia to uh, put troops into the country to try to um, get this all sorted out. May I remind you that Ukraine was part of the Soviet Union. Actually, it was part of Russia altogether, so yeah, basically they're um, long lost brothers. Not that I have anything against Ukraine, and even though Ukraine is technically an ally to us, but <clears throat> the thing between Russia and Ukraine can be solved between Russia and Ukraine, not by us saying, back off Russia, and then Obama starting World War Three. So, uh... So that so the Malaysian flight uh, the Malaysian flight is technically a um um what's it called oh a distraction from the Ukraine crisis which is okay because Ukraine and Russia has it has it all sorted out since we haven't heard anything about it Now again, I'm not really hating on the news, or I'm not really making fun of anybody, but this Malaysian stuff, it's, it's, it's just getting all out of hand. I, I just wanted to uh, point out how, how does a plane get all the way down there with a 7 to 8 hour fuel tank. I just want to know. And even if it did freaking run out of fuel, it's still fast enough for the freaking plane to glide however many miles they're up in the air. Because it'll take a while if you're gliding in the air to um, to land. If you've played Grand Theft Auto, no, 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 not even Grand Theft Auto. If you've played any flight simulator, it's proven that if you turn all of your engines off, you are still technically flying in the air. And if you turn your engines off in the air, you are still flying. You can still turn the plane and everything. You're just um, gliding, basically. Well, actually, no. If you turn your engines off, um, that, that takes away the uh, turning ability. So if you turn... If you if you're way up in the air and you just power off all of the fuel, yeah, you're flying pretty slow, but you're still gliding through the air. So even if that plane did run out of fuel, if it was pretty freaking high in the air, it's still gliding. And if it's still gliding, gliding, then it only has a certain amount of time till you have to land. So this is basically a one-time only thing. I mean, there's there's no redos, there's no, oops, well, let's try it again. No, this is a one-time thing. Now, I'm not saying that I know anything about this, but, well, I do know a couple of things about flying. But that doesn't mean I have my pilot's license. I just know a couple of things about flying. It's it's actually proven in the laws of physics. Uh, once something's in motion, it stays in motion until something stops it. Or uh, um, friction and all that good stuff. Well, since the plane is that aerodynamic, it, it it's still going pretty fast. 
but it, it would slowly be slowing down, but you're still gliding like I said. <clears throat> so it would be pretty hard to, um, what's the word I'm looking for? For the plane to fall in the ocean if it ran out of fuel. Everything runs out of fuel eventually, of course. It's like my coffee in my coffee cup. Whenever my coffee runs out of the coffee cup, I gotta refuel it somehow. But, but it's not going to freaking, uh, get refueled on its own, so I have to manually pick it up and go fill it back up or refuel it. I mean, the coffee cup doesn't just sit here just like that and say, well, it's out of fuel, so it's just going to stay there. And that's the end of it. So I got a dirty coffee cup in my room and it's never gonna move ever again. No, that that's that's not how things work. You pick up the cup and you take it to the kitchen and you fill it fill it back up with coffee if you have any, or you put it in the dishwasher for it to be washed. Now how is that How's that involved with a plane? Well, uh, uh, I just got them saying, planes can glide. Even those big ass Boeing 777. Even those freaking military planes can glide. Anything with wings and going at a certain speed and that's way up in the air can glide. Now, if you try to prove my point wrong and say helicopters don't glide then you're just being a dumbass we're talking about planes not helicopters planes anything that is aerodynamic and that has wings and that can fly birds can fly so birds glide birds don't use their wings all the time they get tired flapping it's like us use our arms up and down we will get tired eventually so if we get tired eventually what do we do we put our arms down and with the birds it's not that simple because if they're up in the air and their arms get tired they have no choice until they decide to land so they keep their arms up and they glide not even even though it's really not that hard to keep your arms up and glide because it's you know, if, if you've ever glided in those little aerodynamic little parachute things you know that thing the, the suit things that you put on that help you uh, glide across the ground and all that good stuff if you don't know what I'm talking about then um, then don't 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 worry about it but um but anyways uh you'll be able to glide until um you um uh, decide that hey I want to land I'm going to pull the parachute and um that'll help slow me down now those are called flaps on a plane cuz planes don't have parachutes so planes can't land that easily it's kind of the same with the freaking space shuttle, except um, except it has wings. Well, certain space shuttle, uh, those those little plane-like shuttles have wings, so they can land at airports, provided that they um, don't burn up in the atmosphere. Uh, those planes are kind of hard to burn up in the atmosphere, anyways. So. Um, anyways. Um, but back in the um, 19, 
50s or 60s, whenever the freaking Cold War was, uh, back in those days, they used parachutes. They put monkeys in and they used parachutes. And then they put humans in and they still used parachutes. And even though there's a lot of accidents, they still use parachutes. Parachutes are good. Parachutes was used in the freaking Mars rover mission. Although it was pretty freaking big and it was still going pretty freaking fast. It was still used. So, yeah. Well, that, that that's really all I have to explain. Um... I don't really have anything else to say about the Malaysian, the missing Malaysian flight that happened to be um, somewhere over there with that much fuel, which is surprising to me that they have that much fuel, even though they went to the left and not to the right. Well, left and then to the right. So then, I don't know. I don't care what happens as long as they find the plane and they get that black box and they um, present it to the uh, the media for it to uh, so we could find out what happened so now ending with that thank you guys for watching push your comments below See you guys next time.